Hey, what's going on? Caleb P. back with you again today. This is Strive for the Five. Thanks for tuning in. So today I want to talk about a feature, another feature, built-in feature of the HP Phone on Builder. Have you ever tried to figure out if there was a better way to get a hold of clients or customers or somebody that you needed to set up an appointment with, whether it be real estate or a client? or maybe just some casual consultation that you want to chat about over the phone, Zoom, a meet, a meet someplace physical, whatever. Well, the HBA Funnel Builder has you taken care of once again because it has a booking widget uh, built into it, all still for the price of $25 a month. And once again, with 80% residual income. So I will show you that real quick today. So I am on my Funnel Builder site at the moment and how you would get to the, uh, well first of all, how the widget is here itself, but you would need to set your appointment up. So um, whether it's Zoom or over the phone or a meeting or whatever, and you can have unlimited uh, booking appointments and booking, um, yeah, bookings to set up in here. You would create a booking event but for the sake of this video, I will just show you one I already have set up. But yeah, you would create your new booking event. And then I am just going to show you what I have set up. That way you can kind of get an idea. So we have about the booking operators and services availability, form questions and confirmation. So the event name, whatever you want to uh, call the event name, whether it's a Zoom meeting or a phone consultation like I have here, or whether you want to meet in a physical place somewhere in your town or area, whatnot, some place that you're comfortable with, that you will both be comfortable with. Description, so I have my Zoom meeting set up in case someone, in case somebody would like to discuss um, over Zoom anything about the HPA, including the builder, any specific questions about the HPA, um, and I should probably put in there just any kind of specific thing they would like to talk to, to me about regarding marketing or whatever I do. Um, and then location wise, once again, my Zoom link is in there and uh, they can schedule a phone call with me. I would just um, call them when that day arrives and when they get this uh, Zoom link, it'll tell them what time, what uh, you will, you, you'll, email, you'll email them with that Zoom link and they will uh, hop on at that time. Operators and services. Uh, if you're just by yourself, it's, say you just run your own on online deal or are self-employed by yourself, don't have anyone working for you or doing any of your uh, business deals for you, you would just mark yourself as the sole operator like I have myself as the sole operator. If you are uh, dealing with multiple people, then I suppose you could make one of those people an operator besides yourself and this will assign the operators automatically. As for the availability feature, oh, here we go. Uh, so booking type, uh, group, uh, multiple, uh, so multiple people or just a one-on-one. -on -one. I have a group in case somebody wants to join me on Zoom with their friend or whatnot. Uh, and since the maximum number of people on Zoom uh, for a 40 minute session is three people, I have it set at three. You can set it at whatever you want. I don't think there's a limit, uh, but if there is, I will find out. And for the meeting duration, I have it set on 30 minutes because, as I said above, Zoom on their free version only lets you schedule 40 minute appointments at a time and 45 minutes would run over, so 30 minutes is what it's at. Or you can do your custom 16 minutes or 15 minutes. Uh, so you, as the operator, are available for the booking, uh, say within the next week, the next two weeks, infinity, custom date range, it's up to you. I just have it set it for the next week like so availability um so you can set your own hours up your own time blocks up it doesn't really matter it goes by army time though kind of a uh, note to self and a note to you i found that out the uh, hard way so i had to kind of figure that one out no big deal though you can throw these away if you need to um so i have mine set from nine to, well this one nine to five thirty ten to ten thirty so um, half hour segments in between that's just kind of how that worked out between this time frame and zoom's time frame and you can also add hours like add another um, add another set of hours ra rather than another uh, day I suppose so add another time block within that day exclude day so if say you're on vacation or you're doing something that weekend or you're busy at whatever uh, point of the day 
during the week. So mark that you're not available from such and such day to the next day or next group of days, or maybe you're not available a group of hours per day. You would just mark that and no one will be able to, it, it'll be grayed out on the calendar. No one will be able to uh, pick it if you have that uh, excluded. So I do not for right now. Availability increments. Uh, so this means how long you will be um, available for. So in 30 uh, minutes, like I had to choose. Scheduling notice, just so uh, how, how far out in advance do you want to be known of an appointment? If it's last minute, I have three hours. May take that down to uh, two at some point, not sure yet. Buffer between appointments, so let's say you're in an appointment and you don't want to go in to your next appointment right away. You want to get a uh, drink or something, something to eat, take a mental break, whatever. You have to call somebody. Uh, 15. So I have mine scheduled for 15 minutes. You can go anywhere from no buffer to a whole hour. So I'll set mine back at 15. Limit the number of sessions per day for this operator. I do not have anything limited at the time being. So I'll go next. Now we have the field name uh, or the form questions, I should say. So um, you would need their name, I would assume, their email, um, their phone number, like I have down here. None of this is additional. I don't think any of this is required. You just set what you want in there. I have, do you have a question about the HBA funnel builder in case uh, they do, so I know kind of what to put myself in the mindset of before the meeting starts. If not, what specifically would you like to discuss? So that kind of gives them a varying range of what they can discuss, not just nailed down to one subject, but if they would like to, they can talk about that. And then their phone number in case they want to just schedule a phone uh, consultation or if I need to call them or something of course you can edit the form questions and you would come in here and say you want to um, put in your website you would do that and I'm not gonna do that but you get the picture and you can play around with it when you get your own builder so and I, I would always uh, advise saving changes that's going to be your best friend in any funnel builder situation, so you uh, don't forget to do something. So confirmation. Details on the confirmation shown after booking is made. I just have mine set on the default confirmation. You can set up your own custom page however you want it to be. You kind of have to flirt with that on your own. Uh, for message header, I put thank you. You'll be receiving a confirmation email just so they know to look for the email and I'm so I may as well actually put a uh, subject line in there of what the email is going to be like I usually do and then for description I just tell them I'm looking forward to the consultation answering any questions they may have to kind of give them a warm greeting and a warm uh, uh, yeah just a warm greeting um, you can also give them a call to action so if you have say a um, a website that you want them to go to or maybe a PDF form that you want them to take a look at beforehand or whatever uh, PowerPoint it's up to you you can put that in here and give it to them before the appointment so they can check it out whatever kind of forewarnings and information you would like them to look at and go over for the actual meeting so that would take care of that you would come up here and hit save changes at that point you would go into the builder I will kind of show you mine just so you kind of have an idea of what uh, mine looks like. Where is mine actually? There we go. Zoom consultation registration. And once again, just like on my last video, you can set up a URL redirect for this. I'll have that uh, link popping up so you can check out my video on that. So you can have a nice little pretty link for your Zoom or uh, your consultation clients or your appointment booking clients that's what I meant to say so on mine I have zoom or phone call consultation with Caleb there's the zoom link or phone call um, so that they know they can have a phone call so um, there's my HPA funnel builder question or the specific questions date time and like I said with the gray area actually I'll go to the IV so you can see what I'm talking about so uh, obviously this is a great area, it's a pre it's previous dates, but if you were to set a schedule in there, say you say you were busy from um, Wednesday to Friday, and you wanted that time frame blocked out, then you could 
just uh, yeah it would be grayed out like that no one would be able to pick it now if you just chose a certain hour of a day to block out I'm assuming it would highlight like that and then that time block over here would be grayed out but let me just show you uh, what it looks like when you schedule something or when someone comes to your um, consultation page rather and schedule something so the 24th say at 10 a.m. then it would give me the summary they would fill out their name email um, I have the email and name as a required uh, as a required subject line and our information contact line um, and then these are just optional like I said do you have a question about the builder any specific questions and a phone number um, which I would be more than happy to call someone book the appointment and then I'm going to get an email telling me someone's booked an appointment then they're gonna get an email thanking them and they will receive that link so I will let me set you up a page real quick just so you have an idea of how to do it on your own if you ever uh, purchase the builder and want to set up your own consultation so I'll add a new step add a page scroll all the way and by the way all these templates when you purchase the funnel builder you have all these templates that you can use someone's already made and all these templates are just in the HPA templates there's the perfect templates, the Nolan Network one, uh, Amy's, Digital Prosperity, you get it. So all these templates are in here to edit out for your own use or you can start from scratch and learn a little bit on your own. I'm going to type in test just because it's a test page, add it. Then I will go and get my booking widget and if you don't, ha if you don't have any appointments booked in there I would I'm not quite sure what it would pop up as but uh, since I do I would um, put it right there oh it would just be blank in here so uh, if you didn't have anything in here it would that would still pop up but it would be blank so like I said you're gonna want to make sure your appointment uh, that your settings are all filled in before you come in here and all you would do is hit so since I filled this one out click it Gonna fill itself out and if you're wondering why this one is kind of bland looking and the other one has uh, colors on it I went and uh, messed with the font settings um, so change the booking oh yeah you can also change the booking layout so I I went with this one right here it looked uh, unique uh, to me but you can choose any of these that you want style wise whatever fits your uh, taste the headline font, there are your fonts, there are your general fonts, and then as for step settings, you have, I'm not going to get too much into this, your shadow settings, no shadow, outer shadow, inner. Uh, you have a lot of stuff you can tinker with in here that you can get it unique, but once, but uh, just a little tip, I would not go overkill with it. So your font color, your active color, I'm not quite sure what services Perot means, but maybe I'll figure that out. One of these days, I'm not too worried about it. Edit the step labels. Then we have summary styling, background color, font color, active color. Once again, shadow settings. No shadow, outer shadow, inner shadow. You can adjust these if you'd like. Show the event location on the summary screen. Show the event location on the confirmation screen. And then the last thing we can tinker with here is the form styling so background font book the appointment that is what I have as my button text down there font color and background color then you have these two options here get response uh, I have get response so whatever um, whatever autoresponder you uh, have you will want to set up the correct you want to make a list in your autoresponder for this so that your email will go out to them or they're not going to receive an email uh, so you would come in here and you would pick your not quite sh yeah zoom consultation like I have it clicked there then you would click out of this save the changes of course and just so we can see how it's going to um, look I don't think I set anything up on this for the next page but we'll see so say the 27th at 11 yes I do so the name email do you have a question what specifically would you like to discuss to discuss 
uh, their phone number, book the appointment, and there's your date, time, yeah, your date, time, location, what it's going to be, where it's at. It's a summary, and that is it for your summary. And like I said, if you guys have any questions about how to use a consultation page with a URL uh, redirect, I will have a video popping up on that right now. If you ha if you want to check out uh, just a kind of a quick overview of the funnel builder that I did a little while back, that will be popping up right here. Hope you guys got value out of this video. If you did, hit the like button and uh, can please consider subscribing. With that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video or one of the next videos, and bye for now.